I have to admit, even though many discoveries can seem bizarre and hard to explain, there's often a logical reason behind them. However, there are times when even scientists are left without clear answers. Come along as we reveal 30 discoveries that really had experts puzzled. Parasite Appears From Fish Mouth For newcomers to the world of fishing, here's a cautionary tale. A video captured in October 2014 in Port Aransas, Texas, reveals a peculiar insect-like creature emerging from a fish's mouth shortly after it was caught. This creature is known as Simothoa exigua, a type of tongue-eating parasite that infiltrates fish through their gills. Once inside, they latch onto the base of the fish's tongue, using their front claws to extract blood, causing the tongue to wither from lack of blood supply. Subsequently, they replace the fish's tongue by attaching their own bodies to the tongue's muscles, effectively becoming the fish's functional tongue. They only depart from the fish's body upon its demise, Undoubtedly, you wouldn't want something like this making its way into your mouth. Skull of Extinct Crocodile Although many animal species have likely become extinct over time, their remnants are frequently unearthed. On June 27, 2019, scientists stumbled upon the skull of horned crocodiles following a quest prompted by local accounts and stories. The demise of this crocodile species is attributed to their smaller size compared to the renowned Nile crocodiles, which remain the sole crocodile species in Madagascar. With the discovery of the skull, jawbones, and partial teeth, experts will now have the opportunity to conduct in-depth research into the causes of extinction and the role of these crocodiles in the broader context of generational evolution. Ants turn siblings into nectar. Ants are undeniably fascinating creatures, often leaving us puzzled by their behavior. In the desert, where food is scarce, honeypot ants employ a unique strategy. They meticulously feed drops of nectar and other liquid sustenance to the largest ants in their colony, starting from the largest newborns until these ants swell like balloons. This transforms them into living storage vessels known as repletes, generously supplying the colony with a reserve of nourishment. These ants collect nectar from plants and small animals, storing it within their own abdomens, and transferring it mouth to mouth until it reaches the ants undergoing the transformation into repletes. This particular ant species, Myrmecocystis mexicanus, thrives in southwest Mexico and is most active during the night. Ants kidnap babies of ants. Seems like humans aren't the only ones with a knack for this kind of stuff. There's this video from September 2019 shot in the Natural Reserve System near Truckee, California. It's wild. You see kidnapper ants on a mission, climbing over leaves and rocks, not for food, but to snatch up the young ones from other ant colonies. It might look like they're having a baby buffet or wiping out rival species, but it's more about domination. Once they've nabbed those little ones, they raise them like obedient servants, doing all the dirty work in the nest, cleaning up, hunting, and even chewing up grub for their masters. Bee Sandcastles on Beach Looks like it's not just us humans who love a beachfront view. Check out these Anthophora bomboids bees, the lady bees in particular. Come springtime, they're all about hitting the sandy cliffs by the Pacific Ocean. After getting busy with mating, they get to work digging into those cliffs. There's a stream nearby, and they use it to fill up their bellies, like a water pouch in their abdomen. They mostly use this water to spray the cliffs, making them soft enough to create a bunch of little holes for their eggs. These bees are like beachfront property owners, making about 80 trips a day to and from the stream. So they've got lots of space and water, but it can get dicey for beachgoers. Ants trapped in death circles. Ants are all about teamwork, but sometimes their cooperation can lead them down a pretty grim path. There's this video from October 10th, 2019, showing ants just going in circles, like they're on autopilot or something. Now these are army ants, and they usually follow pheromone trails left by other ants. But here's the catch. If that trail turns into a loop, they get stuck in it and end up going round and round until they drop from sheer exhaustion. You might wonder why they don't just break free, right? Well, according to a study in PLOS Biology back in 2003, Ants stick to the trail because they can't survive on their own. They're all about that teamwork. Extinct Species Skulls Check this out. 
So, back on October 20th, 2015, a hiker was out in eastern Montana and stumbled upon this animal skull. They whipped out their camera and got it all on video. Now, when they put it online, it went viral, and people were scratching their heads not knowing which animal it came from. But guess what? Researchers eventually ID'd it as the skull of a long-gone bison species that's now extinct. You gotta admit, finding something like that is pretty darn rare and a goldmine for researchers. Rattlesnake Cave Venturing into caves can be a real thrill, but let me tell you, it can also take a wild turn. Back in October 2017, someone was flying a drone around a cave in eastern Oregon, and guess what it found? A massive pit filled with snakes. Now these snakes weren't too happy about the drone snooping around, and they gave it some serious warnings. In fact, they managed to knock that drone down with a bunch of rattlesnake strikes. So, you see, if that had been a person instead of a drone, things could have gone from bad to worse real quick. Diamond Stealing Ant Perhaps it had some grand plans, like trading the diamond for a feast, or popping the big question to its ant's sweetheart. Here's the scoop. In August 2018, someone caught an ant red-handed, hauling a diamond away like it owned the place. Now, what happened to this little jewelry thief, whether it gave the diamond back or not? Well, we'll never know. Picture this. What if it had a whole army of ants in on the heist, each one lugging a diamond? These ants are like tiny superheroes, lifting stuff 10 to 20 times their own weight. Who knows, they might have been after an even bigger score. Life Under Antarctic Ice You'd think the icy waters of Antarctica wouldn't be a happening spot for underwater action, but guess what? In December 2016, a bunch of Aussie scientists decided to send an underwater camera on a little adventure, under the sea ice of East Antarctica. And boy, did they hit the jackpot. They found this vibrant, colorful world thriving beneath the icy surface. I'm talking sponges, sea stars, urchins, sea cucumbers, worms, and even some freaky sea spiders. Oh, and don't forget those flower-like creatures that turn out to be some type of worm. The water here is like a chilly minus 1.5 degrees Celsius, but thanks to that thick ice sheet, it's like a cozy haven for these underwater critters, keeping them safe from the stormy sea. Rare Ruby Sea Dragon So picture this. Back in January 2017, some science folks scored an epic video of a super rare ruby sea dragon doing its thing in the waters off the southern coast of Australia. Now this little guy is kinda like the seahorse's cousin, you know? People had seen its dried up relatives in collections before, but no one had ever caught it on camera, just living its best life in its natural habitat. And get this, it's got that same leafy vibe as its cousins, which makes this rare creature look like it just stepped out of a fantasy tale. Blood-like fluid from tree. Hey, remember that tree resin we were chatting about a minute ago? Well, this is one of its cousins. Check out this video from October 2019. It's all about this red sap oozing out of a bloodwood tree in northeastern Africa. This stuff is like Mother Nature's first aid kit. Whenever the tree gets a boo-boo, like a branch being cut or snapped, this sap comes to the rescue, just like how our blood clots to help us heal. But here's the kicker, this magical sap can do more than just mend trees. It's got some pretty nifty healing powers, and has been used for things like curing malaria and ringworm, among other stuff. But here's the deal, getting it out can be a bit tricky, and you've gotta be super careful. Too much of this goo can actually be deadly. And here's the plot twist. Once it dries up, it turns into this rubbery paste that can even trap you if you're not careful. Unusual Jellyfish Discovered So check this out. While some researchers were doing their thing, they stumbled upon one seriously weird looking jellyfish near Papua New Guinea on August 4th, 2022. I mean, this thing was like no jellyfish they'd ever seen before. It had this crazy size and these wild colorful patterns on the outside, but you could almost see right through its skin and insides. Talk about a head scratcher. People couldn't get enough of the footage, and it went viral in a heartbeat. Folks think this could be a totally brand new species of super rare jellyfish. How cool is that? Meteor lands in backyard. Picture this. Back on August 11th, 2017, in good ol' Appling, Georgia, a meteor comes crashing down right in some dude's backyard. 
Now at first, the homeowner's thinking it's just a regular old car crash, right? But then, he takes a closer look and boom, it's a meteor, like from outer space. So he starts checking it out, and guess what he finds? A crazy pink rock just chillin' there, on fire in the middle of the crash site. Well, curiosity got the best of him, and he decides to flick that sizzling hot space rock right out of the hole with a penknife. Talk about a wild backyard adventure, huh? Ancient Little People Get this, when they first found that skull, they thought it belonged to a kid. But then, they found more bone bits, and things got real interesting. Back on December 5th, 2008, some sharp-eyed scientists came across these itty-bitty human bones in a cave on a tropical island. Now, here's where it gets wild. Some brainy folks think it might be the remains of some super-secret tribe that's never had contact with the outside world, and they might even be long gone by now. But others? Well, they've got a different theory. They're saying these bones could belong to dwarfs. So, what's your take on it? Feel free to drop your two cents down in the comments. Presence of Bioluminescence Okay, check this out. The oceans, they're like super deep, covering most of the Earth, right? Well, it turns out that most of those glow-in-the-dark critters, you know, the bioluminescent ones, they're hanging out down there too. I mean, we're talking oceans so deep, sunlight can't even reach them, and it's like total darkness. But here's the twist. That's where these underwater glowy creatures party. Now, a lot of these ocean dwellers, they're basically blind as a bat, because it's so dang dark. But guess what? They've got this superpower to light up, and it's not just for show. It helps them see, freak out their predators, and lure in curious prey. And get this, back in the day, like before the 21st century, folks thought these glowing animals were just fairy tales, because getting close to them was like trying to catch a unicorn. Biggest Dinosaur Fossil you know, usually scientists keep tabs on discoveries by their size, but sometimes you find something that's just crazy huge, and it's obvious it's the biggest deal ever. So, back on January 27th, 2021, there was this video going around showing a dinosaur fossil that's like, whoa, I'm the biggest dino on the block. But here's the kicker, this massive discovery actually happened back in 2012 in Argentina. Some sharp-eyed paleontologists dug up the remains of a titanosaur, which is basically the granddaddy of all plant-eating dinos. We're talking a neck that could stretch out to a mind-boggling 120 feet long. Since then, researchers have been working their tails off, trying to put together all the vertebrae and bone bits they found, buried deep in the muck of Argentina's Candeleros formation. It's a real dino-sized puzzle they've got on their hands. Underground Hornet Nest City Encountering a deceased hornet is perhaps the most preferable encounter with these insects. The footage, captured on January 28, 2022, in Vietnam, unveils a massive underground nest housing Asian giant hornets. Distinct from honeybees and other insects, these hornets pose a more significant threat to humans due to their formidable size and potent stings. They often engage in unprovoked attacks on humans and common insects like honeybees. If it were my decision, I would have opted for the elimination of this nest through a substantial bonfire. Ants Bridge Insects taking on not only wasps, but their entire hive. These army ants have unquestionably displayed their immense prowess by launching an invasion on a wasp nest. This remarkable event, documented on July 30th, 2018 in Costa Rica, showcases the astonishing discipline and teamwork exhibited by the army ants. They constructed a bridge leading to the wasp hive and seemingly emerged victorious against these wasps, notorious for their unprovoked aggression. This ant assault reveals an impressive degree of swarm intelligence and collective problem solving as they skillfully fashioned the bridge for their strategic endeavor. Triceratops, fossil discovered. Stumbling upon an ancient fossil can be just as precious as striking gold beneath the Earth's surface. In August 2017, a remarkable prehistoric find unfolded at a construction site in Colorado. While constructing a new police and fire substation in Thornton, workers unearthed an exceptional Triceratops skull. Experts from the Denver Museum estimated that these fossils could date back 66 million years, marking the third discovery of a Triceratops skull in the region. Fire Ants Life Raft Similar to army ants, fire ants also exhibit remarkable teamwork, 
particularly during flood season when water encroaches upon their nest. This video, recorded in September 2022, showcases red fire ants collaborating to construct a life raft formed from their interlocking bodies. The process begins with the evacuation of the colony's baby larvae and pupae to the raft's surface, although they are positioned at the bottom. The fine hairs on the larva's surface capture air bubbles, not only aiding in raft buoyancy, but also supplying air to the ants submerged in water. Simultaneously, they interlock their arms, creating a scaffold-like structure. These ants exhibit considerable aggression towards outsiders, and readily administer venomous stings if approached too closely, a behavior they maintain while floating on their makeshift life raft. Ancient Bee Trapped in Amber this might just be the ideal method for preserving organisms for an extraordinarily extended period, surpassing even mummification. We're talking about a fossilized relic, an ancient bee ensnared in amber that hails from around 100 million years in the past. This bee became trapped in tree resin, which subsequently solidified, perfectly conserving the bee's entire body. Tree resin, produced within specialized cells in plants, comes into play when a plant sustains an injury. These resins can originate from various plant parts such as tree bark, herb flowers, or shrub buds. Let's talk about the thumbnail in this video. We found this image while digging up stuff for our video. It's a bit of a mystery where this sculpture came from, but we're pretty sure it's from ancient Egyptian times, back when pharaohs ruled. In the picture, there's this supposed human figure, but it's missing a head like ours. Instead, where the head should be, there's something that looks like a different kind of creature. Super eerie, right? So what's the deal here? Is this just art for art's sake? Nothing more beneath the surface? Or could it hint at some wild theory about otherworldly beings who've disguised themselves as humans to blend in with us? I'm curious to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment and let's chat. Dead Spiders Used as Grippers Recently, scientists at Rice University unveiled a video featuring deceased spiders, repurposed as robotic grippers. Through their research, they discovered that spiders extend their legs through hydraulic pressure, a phenomenon they replicated in deceased spiders using a fine needle. A gentle burst of air causes the legs to extend, while releasing the air retracts the legs, enabling the spiders to grasp and release objects. As these spiders succumb and lose pressure, their legs naturally curl up. This innovative field, referred to as necrobotics, offers eco-friendly solutions, and these expired wolf spiders are capable of reliably lifting over 130% of their own body weight. Alright folks, that's a wrap for today. Thanks a bunch for tuning into the video. If you found it intriguing, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a comment below, gave us a thumbs up, and of course, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay in the loop about our latest videos.